Hello! I thought today I'd share some good exercises for those of you that struggle with breastfeeding, either because you're holding your loved one in this position all the time, you've tensed up in your shoulders, or because you've got problems with uh, milk production, or maybe you're struggling with mastitis and really are suffering from fever and pains. So these exercises really help in getting the movement going through the breast and easing off all the structures that are important for breast function to work properly. So let's get started. Really, really nice and easy. Roll your shoulders. You can do one at a time. You can do two. You can use your hands on your shoulders at the same time. Yeah? And then go on to some really big windmills. Kids love doing this with you if you've got older toddlers. Yeah? To make this more effective, you can hold on to the muscle in your breast, which is called the pectoralis muscle the one that you strengthen when you're doing your press-ups. So you can either grab it like so and pull it with a hook into the midline whilst you're bringing your arm back, or you can push it down with a flat hand like so. So you're getting a slightly different stretch with both of those. Yeah? And when you're doing this one you're actually getting the ribs to be move better as well, which is also really important. Yeah? So once you're done with the windmilling, stretch out these mus the pectoralis muscle further. And a really good way of doing so is to interlace your hands behind your back and really pull the shoulders down. This gives you really, really good posture. Shoulders are nice and down and backwards. And you'll feel a little stretch in your neck as well. So this is a great time to actually incorporate those nice neck stretches. Be careful not to raise up as you're going like so, but actually keep the shoulders nice and level and just go as far as it allows. Yeah? Maybe even look to the left and to the right just to loosen those up. You'll feel that after you've done this you want to do a little bit more of that one. So, now is the time to actually get into the breast tissue itself. So as the breast drains upwards into the axilla here and then under the collarbone to back to the heart, we want to encourage the movement like so. So we're encouraging it first up into the axilla, all the way along. You can massage as hard as you like, as hard as you can bear. Of course it's going to be more delicate when you're suffering from mastitis right now. But as you're doing it yourself, you can really um, jump or alternate how much you're going to push. So do try these exercises, see if you can make all of the chest and the shoulders, the neck, especially the ribs here, more relaxed. In osteopathy we always talk about fluids and movement, how fluid really needs to flow in order to guarantee health. This is exactly what, um, one of the perfect examples for it. If you're nice and loose through this area, milk definitely will flow and the lymph will flow back so you don't get any painful um, uh, inflammations there, so do, do try it. Yeah? Good luck with it!